Throw the camera, Brickies. Brick Rod's back. Hey there, Brickies. Brick Rod's back. And today we got a different type of video. Today is my camera collection. So this is basically what you guys see in the videos. This is all the cameras in which I use to film all my videos, whether that be a Lego review, a vlog, a challenge, just all the types of videos. There's a lot of cameras going into this production of these videos. So first off, we got the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. GoPro Session, GoPro Hero 5 Session, and the GoPro Hero 5 Black, which is my main camera, and then, of course, the camera in which I'm shooting with. So we switched to the GoPro Hero 5 to show you the camera in which I'm shooting this video with. This is the EOS Rubble T5i, and this is a fantastic camera. I just love shooting with it. The only downside to this camera is sometimes it doesn't focus well, but that is alright as it is an easy fix. So I like this one a lot because it has the pull-out screen so I can see what I'm doing. So I can make sure I'm in frame and make sure I have a good shot going. It's just a fantastic camera. So back to the video guys. Uh, the reason I'm making this video isn't to show off. I just want to show you guys my cameras and what they're capable of doing. So the GoPro Hero 4 on the left can shoot in 4K at 50, 30 frames a second. So that is, I like using that one especially because it has a touch screen on the back of it. So this has a screen. Sessions, this one could shoot up to 1440p. These sadly do not have a camera but it is alright because the GoPro app will act as a screen for these and this one could shoot in 4k and this one as well in 4k at 30 frames per second both of these can shoot in 30 frames per second they also have voice command and I think that is just amazing having voice command I think actually the GoPro Hero 4 shoots in 4k at 15 frames per second the GoPro Hero 4 Black in which I don't have shoots in 30 frames per second also the two on the left, the GoPro Hero 5 Black and the Hero 5 Session can shoot, um, they can shoot and also have stabilization so that is huge. It'll keep your video stable instead of having all that shakiness. So I think that is very useful. So the reason I have so many cameras is because I like recording a lot and I don't have a lot of time to charge the batteries. I know, I know I can get more batteries. But I think it would be better just to have more cameras in case I want to do other types of videos. I can have a lot of shots and a lot of angles. So that's the reason, the main reason why. I don't actually have spare ca spare batteries for all these cameras. So I usually have two charged fully and then two are always charging. So that's very nice to have like five cameras at once. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, um, it's kind of like a collection I guess so I don't know if you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys did if you guys did leave down in the comments below maybe I can show you guys the accessories I use for my videos it's not too much but I do have quite a bit of um, gear for these cameras so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and until next time see you next time